paintbrushes, gardening, what could we be doing today? Find out on the other side. Hi guys, so a very exciting thing has happened on the allotment and I cannot wait to show you. And I'm sure you just are just sat on your seat in anticipation. Now, for quite some time, I've been growing an apricot tree. And apricot trees are indigenous to this country, so they don't, they're not quite used to some of the temperatures that we see. And also, uh, it, it takes a long time to fruit. So I've been waiting for about three, four years for this apricot tree to, to kind of do something to get really healthy uh, flower buds and a lot of them. But today, Something amazing has happened, and I'm going to show you. It is, to me, the sign of a very good year ahead. So as you can see here, I've tied a netting right over the top of the greenhouse, and then this descends all the way down to the base of the tree, which is down here, and I've tied it to the uh, branch, branches and the, the base. So that sort of insulates a lot of the air. Now today I've opened this up, but I've also got some string just holding the two layers together. We've also got some poles, very crudely done, just to pull some of the netting away from the flowers that sit just up here, because you can see that the netting does touch on, onto the, the flower buds, so we need to make sure that it doesn't, because that will also knock them off. They're very delicate things, these flowers, so you need to make sure that you know the netting Although it protects them, it doesn't completely like unwrap them. So let's go underneath. Are you ready for the big reveal? Let's do this. Look at that. Look at them. Amazing. Now, what we want to do is we want to take the paintbrush that we have and very gently just dab the pollen from the flower onto the paintbrush. This is why you have to be so careful with these uh, flowers. Can you see that on the brush there? There's some tiny, tiny bits of pollen. Amazing, isn't it? Just amazing. Now why we use a paintbrush is anything else would just knock the entire flower off of the tree. They're so delicate. And so what we need to do with this now is pop it over to the other flower and by doing that, you're cross-pollinating and you're making sure that you've done your part to, to try and get those flowers into turning into fruit. So that's the apricot hopefully pollinated. I'm gonna keep doing that over the next few weeks and hopefully we'll get some apricots. If you're looking at growing your own food, then fruit trees are a fantastic way to do that. They don't take a lot of time and I'm gonna show you over the next few weeks how easy some of these vegetables and plants are to grow with so little time. You need about 10-15 minutes a week. In fact, balconies and terraces are much better places for lemons, oranges, apricots and things like that because they provide a much warmer space and they don't get hit by frost like the ground does. Uh, also, it protects them from the wind and in frostier days like this, you know, they keep nice and warm, they keep very healthy on a spot like that. Make sure it's south facing, but aside from that, you know, they take 10, 15 minutes out of your week just to look after them, prune them back a bit, give them a water and a feed, and they will reward you. All right, it might take two years for them to get to that stage where they're fruiting, but they're also really nice plants just to have around. And remember that instead of house plants, you know, you get these fruit trees in, people have a lot of patience and time for house plants. Why not bring fruit trees into your spaces as well because like I said come the spring those lovely flowers will open up sometimes you get fragrance as well and it just looks nice on one of those urban kind of spaces so I've dropped a link in the description box below for container grown fruit trees in the UK places that I've bought them from that I've really you know the trees have done really well that's you won't look back at it it's really rewarding have a go you know because when you pick the fruit off of your fruit tree and you eat it, it's just like a wonderful feeling, a wonderful sensation. Um, and you know, it's all worth it. Like those two years that you might have to wait for it. It's a lovely thing to have anyway. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. 
and if you would like to subscribe for more then you can click here. I will see you next week.